Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video and in today's video, I am going to show you three possible ways to get constant 60 FPS with lag free when you playing Call of Duty Mobile on your game loop emulator. Before I start the video, I am going to show you the PC configuration. Actually, right now I am using a low end PC with i5 processor, 8GB RAM with a graphic card. I don't know which graphic card is this, so I am going to show you now. After that, I'll show you how you can fix the lag and how you can get 60 FPS. So I think you guys already know that this one is a game loop emulator game launcher. So after open the game loop emulator game launcher, if you click on the three dot on top, you'll get an option called diagnostic tools. So after open the diagnostic tool, you can see my PC configuration over here. So right now I'm using an i5 processor with eight gigabytes of RAM. So my graphic card is a AMD 6670. So if you want, you can take a screenshot and you can uh, see all the details over here. So this one is a kind of low end PC. And from this PC, I'm going to get at least 60 FPS. It's constant 60 FPS while I'm playing Call of Duty Mobile. So if he wants to get constant 60 FPS from this kind of low end PC, then watch this full video. Definitely this video is going to be help you to get 60 FPS. So first of all, if you are a gamer, means if you only play the game, play Call of Duty Mobile on Game Loop Emulator, if you don't even record, you don't even stream, then use the default game loop setting. If you don't know how to get the default game loop settings, then what should you do? Just simply uninstall your game loop emulator, then install the game loop emulator. The game loop emulator automatic optimized your PC. After optimized, they will recommend you a settings. You don't need to change anything from the game loop emulator. Like here you can see, I don't even change a single things from my game loop emulator right now. Everything is default over here. This one is the default game loop settings. I don't even change a single things from this game loop emulator right now. And if you use the default game loop settings, then there is a chance to get good FPS with lag free gameplay. So now I'm going to show you the second way to fix the lag and get more FPS. So for the second things, you have to start the game. After start the game, you have to open the task manager. After open the task manager, you have to click on the performance. After click on the performance, if you are using more than 50% CPU right now, then you will get lag. If you are not, like if you are using 20 to 30% CPU, right now then you are not gonna get any kind of lag in your game so you have to be maintain the cpu use while you're playing game so here you can see i'm using 38 percent cpu right now because i'm recording so my my recorder is uh, taking more than 10 percent cpu use right now so if you are not a uh, youtuber or if you are not a uh, streamer then if you maintain your cpu use less than 30 percent then you will get uh, more fps with lag free gameplay I'm gonna show you the screenshot while I'm not recording. So here is the screenshot while I'm not recording. So here you can see I'm using uh, less than 20 percent of CPU. I think you understand the second method. Now I'm going to uh, show you the third method how you can get 60 FPS. For that you have to uh, open the game and uh, you have to be uh, go inside the in-game settings. So for in-game settings you have to go inside the settings. After going inside the settings you have to click on the basic. You will get three mode over here MP, BR and Zombie. You have to click on the BR mode and you have to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down and you will get an option called FOB section. It's a camera camera FOB and the FOB. You have to make the FOB 100% and the camera FOB you have to put 80% and other one. This one is for the first person mode only. You have to make it 90% too. After make the 90% you have to go inside the MP mode and you have to scroll down too and after scroll down you will get the FOB section over here, two FOB, camera FOB and the FOB section. You have to make it 100% and the FOB mode, the camera FOB, you have to put a 90%. So after increase those FOB, you have to click on the graphic section. After click on the graphic section, you have to choose the medium and you have to click on ultra. Ultra in frame rate and the uh, graphic quality, you have to make it medium. And another things, frame rate adjustment. You don't need to make it on, you have to make it off after that, graphics I'm using dynamic, whatever graphic you want, you can use. No problem, I'm using dynamic right now and nothing to do over there. You don't need to change anything from here. So this was the simple and easiest in-game settings over here. So after save everything in-game settings, what should you do? You have to simply close the game and restart the game again. So here you can see I'm just uh, recording and playing with the same PC. That's why I'm getting 32 to 40 FPS right now. It's uh, it's not laggy, but but it's not so much laggy. You see that it's not so much laggy, but it's my FPS is constant, uh, like uh, 20, 30, 40. It's normal constant. You see that, but I'm going to stop the recording. Actually, I'm not only recording. I'm I'm uh, what do you call? I'm editing video too over here. So you see that 
I'm editing, I'm editing video, I'm recording, so I'm, and I'm playing, <laughs> and that's why I'm getting like uh, 31 to 40 FPS right now. So I'm going to show you while I'm not recording and while I'm not editing video with the same PC, and uh, here, I, here I'm going to uh, do these things right now. Let me open my phone camera and I'm gonna show you. So I think you guys are watching me right now. Uh, this one is my, I'm recording with my phone camera right now. And I have to be, um, I'm gonna stop my recording. Let's stop the recording over here. So I just stopped the recording and my FPS is boosting here. You can see, how do I show? My FPS is boosting. Now it's, uh, now, now it's uh, 60 FPS almost, 59 to uh, 60 FPS constantly I'm getting. So let me uh, stop video editing, okay. Let me stop video editing. Uh, save the file, save the project, I already saved. Okay, now let's close the video editing software. I'm closing the video editing software from here. Yeah, it's closing. And let's close the OBS from here for recording software. Okay, close the recording and uh, close the everything and i'm getting more than 60 right now you see that more than 60 so let's move around and uh, move around and i'm gonna show you how much fps i'm getting oh shit what the hell don't stop okay you see that i'm getting more than 60 now 58 to 60 Constant, constant 60 FPS. I already told you I'm moving, I'm jumping, I'm sliding, I'm doing everything. I'm doing everything, but I'm getting more than 60. You see the left side corner on top. You see the left side corner on top, everything's. I'm getting more than 60 now. So, this is the way to uh, fix, and this is the way to get more than 60 FPS. And uh, yeah, 60 FPS constant. You see that? Constant 60 FPS. I'm moving, I'm jumping, I'm doing everything not only that i'm gonna uh, open my scope i'm recording with my left hand right now i'm opening scope you see that it's not less than 50 it's not less than 50 it's i'm constantly getting like 60 61 62 58 59 it's normal fps so i think you guys understand everything and uh, now i I'm, I'm coming back to my pc over here you see that uh, I'm getting 35 now, but it, it's not laggy, but it's not laggy. So if you, if I'm not recording, I'm getting see more than 60 FPS. If I'm recording, then it's uh, 42 to 35 FPS. So that's all about the uh, game loop settings. I think you guys understand everything and uh, I already give you the proof too. So if you apply all three method in your PC right now, then you will get more than 60 FPS guarantee. I guarantee you more than 60 FPS. That's all about stay safe. Bye bye. Take care. And please share this video with your friends and do some support. Do subscribe to this channel.